Gila Monsters Meet You at the Airport by Marjorie Weinman Charming. Pictures by Byron Barton. I live at 165 East 95th Street, New York City, and I'm going to stay here forever. My mother and father are moving out west. They say I have to go too. They say I can't stay here forever. Out west, nobody plays baseball because they're too busy chasing buffaloes. And there's cactus everywhere you look. But if you don't look, you have to stand up just as soon as you sit down. Out west, it takes 15 minutes just to say hello, like this. Howdy, partner. Out west, I look silly all the time. I'll have to wear chaps and spurs and a bandana. And a hat so big that nobody can find me underneath it. <laughs> and I'll have to ride a horse to school every day. And I don't know how. Out west, everybody grows up to be a sheriff. I want to be a subway driver. <laughs> My best friend is Seymour, and we like to eat salami sandwiches together. Out west, I probably won't have any friends. But if I do, they'll be named Tex or Slim. I'm only chili and beans for breakfast and lunch and dinner. Well, I miss Seymour and Salami. I'm on my way out west. It's cool in the airplane. The desert is so hot you can collapse. And then the buzzards circle overhead. But no one rescues you because it's real life and not the movies. There are clouds out the window. No buzzards yet. I'm looking at a map. Before, whenever I looked at a map, I always knew my house was on the right. But no more. Now I'm in the middle of that map, and I'm going left, left, out west. Seymour says there are Gila monsters and horned toads out west. And I read it in the book, so I know it, so. But Seymour says they meet you at the airport. <laughs> We're here, out west. I don't know what a Gila monster or horned toad looks like, but I don't think I see any at the airport. Cactus Airlines Flight 9, departing for back east. I see a boy in a cowboy hat. He looks like Seymour, but I know his name is Tex. Hi, I say. Hi, he says. I'm moving east. Great, I say. Great, he says. What's so great about it? Don't you know that the streets are full of gangsters? They all wear flowers in their lapel so they look honest. But they zoom around in big cars with screeching brakes. You have to jump out of their way. In the east, it snows and blows all the time. Except for five minutes when it's spring and summer. And you have to live on the 50th floor. Airplanes fly through your bedroom, and you've got to duck fast. They ran out of extra space in the east a long time ago. It's so crowded. People sit on top of each other when they ride to work. And alligators live in the sewers. I've read it in a book, so I know it's so. <sighs> then the mother and father of the boy, who looks like Seymour, but isn't, grabs his hand and he goes off. Sometimes the alligators get out, he yells to me, and they wait for you at the airport. It's warm, but there's a nice breeze. 
We're in a taxi riding to our new house. No horses yet. I don't see any buffalo stampedes either. I see a restaurant just like the one in my old neighborhood. I see some kids playing baseball. I see a horse. Hey, that's a great looking horse. I'm going to ask my mother and father for one like it. Here's our house. Some kids are riding their bikes in front of it. I hope one of them is named Slim. Tomorrow, I'm writing a long letter to Seymour. I'll tell him I'm sending it by Pony Express. Seymour will believe me. Back east, they don't know much about us Westerners. <laughs>